Hi everyone, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're just going to have a quick little video on how I deconstructed for Easter and how I just rearranged some things for spring. So here we're looking at the mantle that I had for Easter with the garland and these pictures and my Little Miss Easter Sleepy Easter Eggs DIY that I did as well. So I'm going to be clearing a lot of this stuff off. I'm taking those pictures away because Marianne never really like them there so I'm going to put them somewhere else and down here I'm going to also rearrange some of this uh, in the hearth so as you can see I cleared away the mantle and it's all clear right now and ready to go for using this bunch of stuff that I have all over the floor okay so like I said I'm going to keep it really simple and I used this urn and I put in couple of different shades of tulips and some lilac tulips in there as well uh, for some color it's spring so tulips you know are for spring and the boxwood wreath I took out the flowers that were in the boxwood wreath but I left that uh, green bow in there for just some greenery and I highlighted this urn using these uh, the same pink candles I used for Easter I have the a single candle holder here with a um, a coaster on it to hold that candle and then I use the parfait glasses upside down on each side just to give it uh, some lightness and I added this little bit of ivy around the bottom for some greenery then on the other side of the lamps I used the two terracotta pots that I had down um, at the bottom in, near the hearth and um, I just have some moss in there with some very pale lilac picks and then the um, those those trellises so like I said it's really really simple and clean and easy for me to you know maneuver things around I just didn't want to overdo it um, not that it was overdone for Easter either but I just wanted to keep it as uh, neat and tidy as I possibly could down at the bottom in the hearth I left that pot that I had there for Easter because it is still spring looking and I took out those that azalea looking plant and I just left some greenery in there um, again it's easier to clean those you know those little flowers start to collect dust after a while and I, and I really don't want that right now especially on each side table I have these pink roses here these are more long stem and like I told you if you saw my Easter video they're very realistic they even have thorns on on the stem so again a uh, little bit of the pink there and then this uh, dish right here which has a, a little bit of the a mauve in it right there and then that beautiful statue of the uh, Blessed Mother then on the opposite table that flanks the fireplace, I have this mercury glass uh, silver. Because remember, I uh, if you follow me, you know I painted a lot of things silver and I made the, some things look mercury glass. Like that lamp used to be gold. I, I made that all silver with the black highlights and so on. And I used more pink roses in here just for a little springtime touch. I made absolutely no change on the coffee table. I kept the kept the birds because the birds are nesting right now and the they are laying their eggs or getting ready to lay their eggs so I kept my nest that I created and a little bit of greenery with the two birds in there and the candle holders that I made from the lamps and the pink candles to highlight what's going on on top of the mantle as well and so there you go that's the living room for spring right now So in the dining room, what I'm doing is I'm going to take down this wreath that I had on the china closet and I'm also clearing out on the table. I'm going to just use this uh, crystal vase that we have and I started by using some Dollar Tree ferns in it and some of the celery picks that we have. I'm just adding to it. I'm adding a little bit more to it and eventually you'll see that I add a little bit more to it. On this, I'm taking down this runner that I had. In the dining room, I also went real minimalistic as well. I took up that runner that that I had there. Um, obviously, I left the lamps, and I just have that um, decanter there with those uh, glasses. And again, easy to clean. I move them, and I can clean that off quickly. And it's not, you know, not something that's going to be collecting a lot of dust. Table, left it simple. We just have the same celery green runner 
that uh, if you saw my other video it was a round tablecloth and I just created the runner from that and I'm using these uh, crystal candle holders on each side and this uh, crystal vase and this is the little arrangement I made using the celery green uh, again if you saw my Easter video you know the celery green is what uh, I used in the entrance foyer and I moved that from there to the dining room and the yellow that I had in the dining room I moved out into the entrance foyer which you'll see in a second so that's the table again very simplistic and easy to clean up on top of the china hutch um, I left the same arrangement I took down the wreath as you can see and then I have the that gold urn on the right hand side and I added in the celery green some uh, uh, hydrangea and some other kind of flowers and some cascading flowers and then on each end I had a little bit of uh, cascading picks and to soften the edges and I added in some of that celery green um, florals as well so it just kind of gives it like a little bit of a spring boost in there and then over here on this little um, piece right here um, again took off the runner that I had there and I just added that clear green glass plate for some color but again it's, it's very light looking nothing heavy at this moment so there you go that's the dining room for spring this is the entrance foyer table that we had, uh, how I had it for Easter with the bunny family on it and a lot of the celery green florals that I moved into the dining room. So I started by clearing it out and, um, you know, getting it ready. I used this indoor outdoor green rug that I had. I had to piece it together because I didn't have one big piece enough. And I used that watering can from outside and some of these terracotta pots. And you can see I'm starting to infuse some of the yellow tulips into this. All right, and here's what I did in the uh, on this piece of furniture I have on this side by the steps over here. So I'm trying to make it look uh, kind of garden-like. And um, I again, I use a lot of the yellow that I had in the dining room. So right here you might recognize that piece again if you saw my Easter videos. This was on the dining room table but I chose to move it out here uh, because it had like that garden feel. It's in a wicker basket and it has the daffodils and the tulips in it and some greenery and so on. And then right down here I have a, a little, um, I don't know what you call it, little, it's not a pot but I don't know like a little vessel there and I have some garden gloves sticking out of it so that's right at the base of the steps and then you'll see that piece is right there so once again I use the cascading garland here to soften the edge and I added in some of the yellow flowers and then the, the those like lime kind of green pots um, I got in the Dollar Tree back in um, early, early January before all of this mess started and I added in some tulips and then you see right here I have more of those terracotta pots, the same ones that I have in the living room that are like that lilac kind of color. I have a couple in green and I added some tulips in there as well and then uh, some greenery on top of that green indoor outdoor rug that I use because you know you saw it's all in little pieces and then out in the yard, um, I had this old um, watering can here. So I just cleaned it up a little bit and stuck in here. I put some forsythia in there, uh, again, to make it look like, you know, the wind blew the seeds in there and they were just growing. And then some uh, vine and whatnot. And on the other side, uh, it's, you know, the same thing. It's uh, symmetrical. So let me back up without trying to get this blurry here, okay? And then again, another boxwood wreath up on the top with some forsythia in it. So that is the entrance table. All right, so in the foyer here, just have these the same two um, uh, candle holders that I had up there. I left some greenery. I had eggs there. I took those out, and I just added in some of that pale lilac flower just to give a little bit of color on this uh, very tall wall right here. So here's the sofa table, how it was decorated for Easter. 
As you come into the family room, the sofa table is actually the first thing you see. So um, I took all of that stuff off and uh, again, I wanted it easier to wipe down because when there's too much stuff, I, you know, I mean, I love it. I, I love over the top and all of that, but it becomes really difficult to um, dust, especially, you know, uh, right now. So I kind of kept it neat and clean. All I used here was this little uh, yellow tin that, um, sorry for that blurry, that we got in the dollar store. It's got a couple a couple of years ago. In fact, I think it had a candle in it, but it wasn't one of those, um, you know, the ones for the mosquitoes, because usually you see them like that, big like that. It had some other kind of candle that I can't remember. But I used that, and I put a piece of the foam in it, and I used some daffodils and some tulips, and just a touch of that little bit of um fuchsia right there and then the two candle holders with the green marbles in it and then those uh those those candles and then down at the bottom i didn't i didn't touch this i left it the same the bird houses that i repainted with the books with the stenciling on it and some more bird um references right here Little hutch, I didn't change at all because again, it had, I set it up that way because I didn't plan to change it. It just has some greenery in it and the greens that, you know, we're using in the room right here and the uh, teapot set and the little demi tasse set and so on. So nothing was touched here. I kept it absolutely the same. The only change on this wall was I added the cascading garland, which was on the coffee table in here in that wicker basket. I took it out of there and I added it onto here. Again, with the garden fencing on the side, I, I just thought it looked more spring-like and garden-like, which was kind of the uh, direction I was moving in. Coffee table is going to be the same arrangement, <clears throat> just changing the profile of that basket. Coffee table, I kept the same setup. The only thing I did was I took that big basket and I used this a smaller profile basket right here and I just laid the flowers in it to kind of look like, you know, we went out in the garden and we snipped some flowers and we put it in the basket and we brought the basket in and I just tied a little bit of a ribbon around it. So no, no big drama there, just, uh, you know, very simple approach to getting some color on the coffee table. So this is where I moved those two pictures that I took off of the mantle in the living room. I put them up here um, again to, you know, uh, bring in that green and white that we have so prevalent in the house right now for spring. Okay, so right here I kept the uh, vase on the side with the spring budding uh, twigs and stuff in it. And I just put that uh, clear glass plate, like the same one I had in the dining room, just to bring some color in, and, but some lightness at the same time. And on the front door, changing out this Easter egg and Easter bunny wreath that I had made for this uh, forsythia wreath that I found in a grab bag in Michael's last fall. It was really $40, if you can believe that. Here's the outside window that uh our bay window okay everybody that's it i hope you enjoyed this please everybody praying for you and hope you take care and stay safe hopefully i'll be seeing you really soon take care everybody bye bye